Welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss a very common problem that occurs when using PyInstaller. If you're watching this video, chances are that you generated a PyInstaller EXE, you double clicked it, and then it, well, it did show a console window, but only for a split second, and then it shut down before you got the chance to even see any output or any error messages, any possible error messages. So what is causing this problem and how to solve it? Well, there are actually two or three different reasons as to why this problem can be happening. Let's go through them all in today's video. All right, so the very first thing you can see right here, you can see both, uh, you can see the solution here actually. Normally when people write their code, they write it something like this. They write print statements and they write some calculations over here, maybe another print statement over here, okay, and so on. But the problem is that these scripts are usually so small that when you run them, when you, do when you double click that exe, PyInstaller or Python executes that script, it completes it, reaches the last line, and then it closes the console window. That's the default behavior. Okay, that's, that's normal. That's what's supposed to happen, basically. If you don't want your window to close, what you want to do is basically put an input statement down here. That's the easiest way to, you know, prevent your window from closing. So if you put an input over here, the user is going to be forced to, you know, type something. The easiest thing to do is just press enter and your program will close then. I'm going to show you this actually. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, PyInstaller tutorial dot py let me just save that okay and run this and this should take about 20 seconds or so all right and if this doesn't work i mean i'll show you one more thing after this which is also a very common problem it's either going to be this issue that you have or the one I'll, i'm about to discuss one of them okay so this is gonna finish compiling and good more or less done here. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and go to dist folder, go to tutorial, and where's my exe? It's down here. I'm gonna click on it, and there we go. You see, now it's uh, working. Now, if I press enter, you'll see the window close because that was basically this. If I remove this and I recompile, you'll notice now that it's gonna close immediately. And again, this is normal behavior. Okay, and this is done. I'm just gonna hit Y to overwrite it. Okay, done. Now I'll come back here and double click the exe and watch. See, uh, now you could actually see it there for a split second. Yeah, the first time it just happened to lag a bit, but this is more normal behavior. You see, I'm double clicking it, but it executes so fast. Uh, I think my screen is lagging a bit due to the screen recorder. Uh, otherwise, even that hello world that you saw for a brief for a brief second, it wouldn't show. Okay, so that's uh, at least one problem that was established. I'm gonna re re write some different code over here. I'm gonna write x is equal to ten divided by zero. Okay, this is for a demonstration. Now, what I want to tell you basically is that when you're using PyInstaller and there's an error in your code, the console window is gonna shut down immediately. Okay. This is the second problem that can occur. People have some kind of co some kind of error in their code that's basically crashing the program. So how do we resolve this problem? Or actually, the first thing to do is to identify that problem, w whether we even have an error or not. So there's a really easy way of actually you know testing this and also to identify what the problem is. Let me show you. Just run the command. Okay, again. Okay. Uh, and the reason I wrote this code specifically is because this is going to throw a zero division error, okay? Because 10 divided by zero, you can't divide by zero, right? So it's going to throw an error. So we're, we're just assuming here that we have code that, that is throwing an error, okay? And it's done. I'll come back here. And I'm going to, I'm not going to click the CXZ now, okay? What I'm going to do is navigate over to that folder, this tutorial. Okay, uh, you can do this from anything. Okay, you can also open up command prompt or something. Okay, or the Linux terminal would do whatever you want. Any terminal will suffice for this. 
Now I'm on PowerShell, so I'm gonna do dot slash. Uh, I think it's called tutorial, right? Where is it? Yeah, it's called tutorial.exe. I'm gonna do tutorial.exe over here, okay? I think on Linux and Mac, or even depending on the terminal you're using, you may have, this is gonna be enough. But I'm on PowerShell, okay, you see this PS for PowerShell. So yeah, I'm gonna do this, hit enter, and there we go. See, now if we, you see this error code here, right? It's saying zero division error. But if I go here and double click this exe, it's just gonna close immediately. Because there's a zero division error, it you know crashes immediately. But if you execute this command, we're not executing uh, a command here actually, we're executing the file itself. And the output, the, the output gets printed out on this console. So we actually get to see the error going on over here. Now, once we know what the problem is, we can just resolve it. And you may think that your code is working perfectly fine, but sometimes there are issues that occur only when you actually compile your code. Like sometimes there can be file path issues or something, maybe you forgot to include an image in your exe, stuff like that, that can happen, okay? So this is how you can fix that, or sorry, identify it. Once you've identified it, you can resolve it. Other than this, there's also, um, I mean, that's the second fix, okay? The third possible fix to this kind of problem is to simply reinstall PyInstaller, because I've heard of some cases where the installation got corrupt, the Windows firewall deleted some parts of it, or something like that, maybe you're using an old version. Okay, so if the first two fixes did not work for you and you are sure that, you know, there's no error and that the program is, you know, not even reaching the last line of your code, if you're completely sure about all that, then yeah, you should reinstall PyInstaller. That's my last suggestion. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it useful. See you guys in the next one.